Yeah. Whereabouts are we now? What's this building so all about? This is the original Brisbane or Moreton Bay Penal Settlement Commissariat store. I was going to say, I'm noticing we're looking very spectral in the photo here, right. bouncing off this piece mm. of perspex. Um, but this building dates its way all the way back to the second oldest existing building behind, only just ever so marginally behind the old convict windmill that's up on um, at Spring Hill. Um, but this one has had a ghost story attached to it for many, many decades. Um, the urban legend used to be, and you haven't been able to do it for about the last 15 years since they put up this big um, perspex barrier, um, but there's a doorway that goes into the side of the building uh, and it was said that if you came down here at night time and knocked a couple of times on the door, you would actually hear footsteps, um, quite loud footsteps on the wooden floor on the inside approaching the other side of the door as if somebody was heading to the doorway to let you in um, and the footsteps would stop right on the other side of the door even though no one was in there uh, at the time. So um, you've got this urban legend of a ghost, but when it comes to the potential, I guess, identity of a ghost, um, the very foundations of this building um, have a pretty grisly history um, that dates right back to 1828 when the building was in the process of being constructed. Now, they obviously anything that was built in Brisbane at that stage was built by convict labour. Um, and there were a couple of convicts who'd been at one another all day by the name of John Brungar and William Perfoot. Um, now, John Brungar was um, a slightly smaller man. He was quite unnerved that William Perfoot had a better pickaxe um, as they were excavating out into the hillside to build the building and John Brungar wanted the, the nice, lighter, easier to wield pickaxe and William Perfoot wouldn't give it to him. Um, and the... the um, wardens who were looking after them, the convict overseers, had pulled the two of them apart a couple of times. Um, but on one occasion they turned their back for a little bit and John Brungar walked over to William Perfoot with his pickaxe and sunk it straight through his head. So the original report um, of the, the incidents claimed that um, William Perfoot had his head split asunder. Um, now he was chucked, uh, John Brungar was pulled off him, he was sort of taken to one side, William Perfoot with a pickaxe hanging out of his head was put into a um, sort of makeshift wheelbarrow and he was raced further up the road here to what was the convict hospital at the time. Now he languished there for quite some time um, until he finally succumbed from his injuries but um, pretty much met his end right in the very foundations of the building here. Mm, there you go, so I'll just to give you guys a bit more of a look of this building. Who knows what you might be able to pick up. Wow. But yeah, this is the door of urban legend. So as it goes, as it goes, you used to be able to come up and rap on this door. And if you did, you might have something um, fast approaching you on the other side. Other side, that's yeah, right. So, very good. Um, and that, this is why the Perspex is here now? So I'd say probably, <laughs> to yeah. stop people from going up and banging on the door. Mm. Um, but inside the building now, it's sort of, um, sort of the, the early history museum of Brisbane, or the convict museum. Yeah. Um, there's a fantastic bottle inside the museum of convict fingers. Um, really? Convicts used to love cutting their fingers off um, to try and get taken to the hospital, so to get them out of work. Um, and they used to collect the fingers in a bottle. And it's like an old compo trick. There's an actual <laughs> a bottle of pickled convict fingers that are in here. Um, wow. The execution bead for Bogoro Jail lived in here um, for quite some time. So you've got sort of other shackles, leg irons, oh, and, right. and sort of handcuffs, all sorts of bits and pieces that date right the way back to convict era Brisbane. So a lot of energy and, and sort of convict energy going on in that building too.